Thanks. We all know, especially on this shift, that getting a good night's rest is essential to your day. In fact, adults are supposed to get at least seven to nine hours of sleep a night. Ha. <laughs> I laugh at that. Children <laughs> under the age of five, they need to get at least 10 to 13 hours. With that said, NBC Charlotte's Brooke Katz has some ways you can improve your sleeping habits. The experts over at U.S. News and World Report say the first thing you should consider, investing in a quality mattress. It's tempting to go cheap, but they say you really do get what you pay for, and you should expect to pay between $2,500 and $3,500 for a quality mattress. Now, the second idea, a little bit less expensive. Consider blackout curtains. These are great for shift workers. They keep the room nice and dark, and they keep the sun's rays from waking you up too early. The third thing on the list, a sound machine. This is great if you live in a busy part of town. It blocks out noises from the outside and the rhythmic nature of the sound helps put you to sleep. Fourth up on the list, think quality sheets. Consider 350 thread count Egyptian cotton and you don't have to break the bank for this. Places like TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Marshalls, you can really get a good deal on your sheets. And then finally, a sleep tracker. These can really help you pinpoint specific issues, specifically those sleep trackers with heart rate monitors. A couple to look at, the Fitbit Iconic runs around $299. Garmin also has a version, the Vivo Smart 3. It will run you about $140. Happy sleeping.